Welcome everyone to another video. Today I'm here on Mac OS and I'm going to walk you through the process of how to allow apps from unidentified developers as well as how to allow apps from anywhere. And so this basically happens when you're downloading or installing a program, an application, and you get a notification that it's been blocked. And so what you need to do is in order to allow it through, just click on the Apple icon up here in the top left corner, click on system preferences, and then on this menu, look for where it says security and privacy and click on it. Make sure you have the general tab selected. And then if you look down here towards the bottom, if an application is being blocked, it should be listed here. You'll notice there's an allow button and currently it's grayed out. So to give us the option to allow it, we just click on the padlock. You'll need to type in your computer password and then click on unlock. And now we have the option to click allow. And so if you click allow, it, at that point will then allow the application you're trying to install. Now that's one way of doing it. However, you may not want to go through this process every single time. And there are some rare occasions where some applications will get blocked and not show up here to allow them through. And so an alternative option we can do is we're going to go ahead and close this. And then we're going to come up to our little search option up here in the top right corner and click on it. And we're going to type in terminal. And then once you have the terminal typed in, it should just be the top option. Just go ahead and click on it to open it. Now this window right here is the terminal window. And what we need to do is type in a line here. And I will post this line down below in the notes, down in the video description, as well as here on the screen. But you need to type in the following. It's sudo space spctl space dash dash, so two dashes, the word master, and then another dash, and then the word disable. And then once you have that typed in exactly that way, just press enter and it's going to say password. Now the password it wants is your Mac computer password, the password you type in when you first turn the computer on. And keep in mind, when you type this password, it's going to appear as if you're not typing, but it really is. So you're just gonna to have to type it and then press enter. And then if you got it correct, it should look something like this, where it just shows the name or your username. And so at this point, what you want to do is just go ahead and close everything that you have open and go ahead and restart your computer. And you can do that just by clicking on the Apple icon in the top left and then go down to restart. After you have restarted, just come back here to the top left and click on the Apple icon and go back down to system preferences and then head back over to security and privacy and click on it. Again, make sure you have the general tab selected and you'll notice that we now have an anywhere selected option by default. If at any point you want to change it, just click on this padlock. It will allow you to then change it to whichever option you want after you type in your password. But that will allow you to download and install applications from anywhere that you want. That's everything for this video. If you do have any comments or questions, please post them down below. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and consider sharing it. And please also consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications on future videos.